Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, James Spinning here. It's a new camera angle today. Um, hello, face, it's front on. Um, so it's a shout out video today, and in particular, it's for Emergence Audio and their newest double bass textures. So what's the deal with the shout out video? So what I'm doing is I'm in the process of writing tracks for a specific album. I'll put the link below when it's published. Um, and uh, I've drawn on instruments that inspire me. And in particular today, it is the double bass textures. It, this is fairly new. Um, and it's, you know, if you like Emergence Audio, uh, you're going to love it. Uh, previously, I've done Emergence Audio videos with Quantum, Soprano, Violin and Cello. Um, I'll put a video link above. But this is all about double bass textures. And I've used a bit of clarinet textures as well. Um, so uh, without further ado, let me show you double bass textures. So as you can see, we've got contact, newest contact, contact seven, I believe. Um, and there's one NKI. Let's just drag it in. First pad, first sound. Just play some C's. Go fifth. Yeah, um, it's double bass. Let's play with some presets, shall we? So uh, let's go for some snapshots. Ben's double bass, Ben 2. <laughs> wow. Wasn't that nice? And it is polyphonic. Three. As a, some engine. You could totally use that for a Star Wars game. Couldn't you? Well, a spaceship or a hover coming, going like this. Yeah, that's my bag. Here we go. Four. That's horror. Um, let me just get on with it. A uh, correlated uh, mixture of um, Punta d'Arco. I mean, if this doesn't inspire you, then I would eat the proverbial hat that I would be wearing. Um, try another one. I mean, it's an amazing, amazing texture instrument. I mean, they all are. The emergence audios they're just so inspiring uh, experiments i like experiments i like sound design i like weird stuff black hole experiments that's an onslaught just touching a b flat very gently yeah yeah, I mean, it's all double bass. Next one. Fire camp. Yeah, I loved this, and I've actually used this one. Uh, uh, noisy, no, robot dance. Sounds fun. <laughs> I like double bass. <laughs> um, a uh, couple more experiments. Um, underwater. I mean. You know, they, they basically are setting you up for a very specific genre. I mean, that would be 
computer game. That would be psychological thriller, horror, abandoned warehouse type thing. I mean, amazing. Uh, last one. Space Journey. I like space. Just, just playing one note. The thing about Emergence Audio is that these instruments, you can just keep your finger down and it retains your interest because it's it moves. It's textured. It, it doesn't ever stay static. And I love that. So amazing for atmospheres, amazing for pads, all of this. Uh, uh, let's just, um, infinite drones, um, ancient bloom. Just gone forever and ever and ever. Um, I'll just show you also what you've got. You've got pads, you've got pulses, you've got swells. Uh, let's go for a swell. Sort of tusto muted swell. Is it going to come back? No. So again, that's just a single shot. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's basically you know, Joker sort of. Yeah. So that's me just playing with the pitch wind. I mean, you know, that's noir. Um, I love it. So let me just explain the GUI very quickly. Um, on the previous videos, again, the link below or above previously, um, I go into everything about these these engines and once you've mastered one they're all the same let's go to initial shall we so you've got two sound cores one on the left and one on the right you can choose by just doing that and you can choose by doing that you can turn them on and off right hand corners uh these are your volumes so let's just solo the left hand saw point no vib let's go for a seat this is your volume Yeah, this is attack, decay, sustain, release. If you want to unlink them, so I'm going to move the decay on the left and you can see it also moves on the right. If you unlink, you can move them independently. I'm just again using the left hand side. All of this um, stuff is all to do with the LFO and filters. Again, this links both the right and the left. So if I did the cut off here, you can see it goes to the right. Let's find a resonant bit. Oops. Fortunately, it tells you what's going on. So around 2K. Quite fun. There. Uh, pan left, pan right. Um, now, uh, these little screws are to do with the LFO, which is this lovely thing in the middle. Okay, so uh, the global affects everything. This is the global. So let's turn it on. Let's turn the cutoff on. If I press, it'll start moving. And to do with this um, sine wave. So you can have sine, triangle, saw, or random. Let's have square, because that's quite fun. Turn the rate up. Yeah. Uh, the depth. Yeah. Now you can also... Uh, now you can also affect each of these depths. So I just want that tiny blip to happen up there. Right on the whole thing. Yeah. Let's make a sine wave. Love it. And if I turn the LFO off. There. Yeah. If I want this to go opposite to that, see this polarity switch? If I press it, it'll link, but if I want it to do the opposite, I'll do that. Yeah, and I'll slow it down. Let me just slow it down and you can see it's going in the opposite directions. In fact, let's turn this one on. 
It's fantastic. It's all kind of fun. That's the um the basics of it. Let me just change the this again. There you go, slightly brighter. Um let me solo this one. Now high pass, low pass. You've actually got settings for high pass and low pass, you lucky things. Uh expr, I, ex I presume is expression for for the patch random you can randomize the whole thing um let me just do that boom randomize it again it also affects the sound cores randomize one more time randomize again turn the lfo on randomize it randomize it again yeah Get the thing right. Let me just go to back to the initial patch. So, uh, one little thing that I haven't talked about, which is a rather big thing on the GUI, is the central large knob. This is your morph knob. This to the left, this is your morphing knob. If you go to the left, it goes to the sound core on the left. If you go to the right, it goes to the sound core on the right. Here's the left on its own. If I go to the right, there's the number. Let's change it slightly. Tremolo. And there we go. Yeah. Down here under the volume are your tunings. Let's turn this down a bit. And let's turn the, the one to the right up a bit. Fun, isn't it? And let's, for uh, giggles, let's turn the LFO on. Let's turn the rate up. Let's turn the rate up. Let's turn the depth down a bit. I mean, how cool is that? Also, you can do it on the tuning. Let's turn the screws on the tuning and it'll affect the LFO. Here we go. Let's uh, inverse that one. Let's just change the depth of that one. I mean, it's, it's all pretty cool. You can do some crazy stuff. Uh, FX page. Um, I don't really need to tell you, but uh, look, um, uh, you just turn them on here, turn them off here. You can control this. Uh, plus, so plus size. Um, let's go for, oh, look, this is um, LFO dependent. So distortion. Let's turn it on. Let's turn it on. There. Oh, timing. Wow, let's turn it down. Let's turn down the rate down a bit. Lovely uh, saturation. T again, turn it on. Let's inverse it. Silly stuff. I mean, you know, uh, uh, rotator, um, chorus. Let's turn the chorus on. And, and, you know, uh, you are at liberty to experiment and create so many fun things uh, on your own. Or go for the presets, whatever you like. I love creating my own. But on this track, I have drawn from the fabulous, um, inspiring presets to create an atmosphere. Uh, let me just show you, just because I can, the clarinet textures is exactly the same. By the way, with dimensions, you get all of them separately. So if I wanted the clarinet breath with no vibrato, I just do this. And as you can see, it's just the one core. Attack, sustain, all of that. You just don't get the um the LFO thing. Yeah. But very, very, very playable. Again, let me show the initial patch. Yeah. 
correlated, staccato correlated. <laughs> Lovely. It's almost like a swarm of insects. Uh, let's round them it all. I mean, all lovely. Uh, let me show you uh, the track that I've used these double textures on. So as you can see, this is my track and um, here I've got my double bass textures and this is, it just opens up the piece. Um, so it's the sort of, it's, it's an epic ambient album, in case you hadn't guessed. Um, just solo to solo them. Uh, I've got a flautando muted thing here. Now I do quite like the fact that you get a very deliberate bow. This is the second one. It's a sort of cinematic shimmer. And then this one, I think, if you remember, I played a bit of them in the presets. Yeah, so those three together. Yeah, I mean, that's just double bass textures, folks. So this is it in the track. There is a piano going over it on a sort of a repeated pattern, but I will just mute it just so you can hear uh, the double bass within all this pad stuff. It's lovely. Yeah, um, so uh, double bass textures. I mean, it's just gorgeous, really. Um, so another track, I'll just show you very briefly. I put clarinet textures in as well. Here it is. So this is another track on the um, album. And this one in particular is just the clarinet textures, which I loved, really. And this is just a pulse. And starting the piece, the whole thing is this. So it's sort of synthy. If you're interested, I've got a, a, a blade, a rock pub and blade uh, pad at the base. Um, all based around these clarinets. And they had this sort of vocal quality to them, so actually I added voices as well to them. I mean, they're so nice. Um, so, um, I'm a huge, huge fan of Emergence Audio. Um, their, their engines are, are just so inspiring and, uh, they sound real. They're real and they're, they're, well, can you call them hybrid synths? They sort of are really. They're organic, real samples, real instruments warped in a fabulously fun engine. Um, so Emergence Audio. That was double bass textures, their newest instrument, bit of clarinet textures. If you're interested in looking at any of the others, uh, do check out the video that I did on the Quantum Engine violin, soprano, I think.
think that was it as well um link above or below but anyway thank you so much for watching guys if you like this give it a like smash that like button if you like what i do please do subscribe ring the bell and you'll be notified of the next video that i do um i can tell you now it's another shout out video because i'm in the middle of trying to get this album done as soon as i possibly can before we all go away uh for the summer um so uh, i will i will no doubt see you very very soon maybe even wearing the same shirt but anyway